a nice day. I've been fishing for about an hour, 15 minutes, hour, 20 minutes, and I've caught two. Hey, Luke here with catsandcarp.com, and I'm here watching the sunrise on a beautiful Tuesday morning at the DC Tidal Basin in front of the Jefferson Memorial. And I've got the Washington Monument right here to my left. I've got the Martin Luther King Memorial behind me. It's a beautiful setting to show you how to use eight loop knots and cured chicken livers. It's a great technique for catching a lot of catfish, and I'm anxious to show you how it works. Now, as you may already know, chicken livers is a great bait for channel catfish, and small blues. It's a fun bait, catfish love it. The big downside is that it falls off the hook so easily. When you're casting, when fish are picking at it, you lose bait constantly, and you end up going through a lot of bait very quickly because it's so fragile. Now, you can use pantyhoses, little mesh bags, sewing needles and thread. There's a lot of techniques for trying to keep, chi keep chicken liver from falling off your hook. Whoop. I don't even have my landing net out yet. I've been fishing for less than five minutes. This is awesome. Come on, kitty. Oh, nice fish. Fishing for three minutes, and uh, he hit that chicken liver like a freight train. Yeah, circle hook right in the bottom lip. Beautiful fish. Look at the belly on that guy. Just gobbled up that cured chicken liver with that pro cure on it. Whoo, he liked that. About ripped my gear right into the water. Fabulous fish. So we're gonna put him in the keep net for a little bit. Let them go. Um, I've got just a couple of, about a, two hours to fish before I gotta go to work. We're gonna see what else we can catch. All right. Nice little channel cat. Little this is kind of an average size channel cat for this for this area. So yeah, man, he pounded it. Circle hook went right in through the cheek, wrapped right up into it. Man, he liked that. That rod had been sitting in that spot for three minutes when he hit that. Did not wait at all. These fish are nailing it as soon as I put the chicken liver in front of them. Absolutely nail it. They like that pure cure, uh, pro cure chicken liver. All right, let's put them in the keeping. This is my rig. I got a three ounce lead on a slider with a bead and then a swivel, then some monofilament and an egg loop knot. And this is the egg loop knot. It's basically a snelled hook or a knotless knot with this retractable loop that you use to pin the chicken liver to the shank of the hook. It is fabulous. It keeps all the little dangly parts from flapping off and breaking off. It just, this is an incredible benefit um, to using chicken liver. We use this up in the Northwest for fishing for salmon to keep the salmon eggs from falling off the hook. We have the same problem up in Alaska fishing for salmon with eggs as we do with fishing for catfish with chicken liver. So the solution they use is the egg loop knot. It pins, it's a little loop that pins the eggs to the shank of the hook. You can use the exact same uh, rig, exact same egg loop knot to keep chicken liver from falling off. This is how it works. You take a glob of this procured chicken liver, you extend the loop over, feed it over, okay, like that, and then just pull it tight. There you go. It's on there tight. No pantyhose, no thread needles, no little bags. 
super easy, super easy. And just wash your hands because that Pure Cure, that Pro Cure, um, stains your hands pretty good. My dad always wears latex gloves, but you know, whatever. I don't do it. Um, all right, let's get this in the water. That's the other thing I love about this Pro Cure. Is look at that cloud, cloud of scent that wafts off there. That Pro Cure not only cures it, makes it tougher, it also makes it highly visible and puts off this wonderful scent and flavor cloud that's really attractive. Salmon love it, and apparently catfish do too. Look at this beautiful channel cat. Casted about 80 yards. Fish grabbed the bait, um, played him, landed him, still got chicken liver on the hook. Stuff's very tough. All right, we're gonna get this guy into the keep net. Adding Pro Cure to chicken liver makes it tougher. It adds visibility, adds scent, it makes it more attractive, but there's another really great advantage. It makes it last longer. If you've bought chicken liver and left it in your fridge, you know that stuff goes off very quickly. It gets rancid, nasty, stinks up the whole house. Procure allows the chicken liver to last a long time. I've had this bag of chicken liver for several weeks now, and it smells exactly the same as when I cured it. It hasn't really changed at all. It's gotten a little bit tougher uh, since I put it in the fridge, which is a great thing, but there's been no uh, molding, no rancid scents, uh, no nasty juices dripping out. This stuff will cure it and it'll last a long time. Uh, you, with salmon eggs, if you add Procure and you stick them in the freezer, you can get them to last a year. So I haven't had a chance to check this out for a full year yet, but uh, I use it up too quickly. But uh, um, yeah, a couple weeks in the refrigerator, no problem, no smell fabulous. Nice. Oh, come on. That one might bust 20. That's a nice catfish right there. Oh. Oh. <laughs> what a nice day. I've been fishing for about an hour, 15 minutes, hour, 20 minutes, and I've caught two lovely blue catfish, a couple little channel catfish all on chicken liver with Procure. Beautiful day. a great way to start out a Tuesday morning. Been fishing about an hour, 15 minutes. Caught two 18 plus blue catfish, two channel catfish, had a lot of bites. All on procured chicken liver with uh, egg loop knots. Absolutely fabulous. Most of the fish were hitting it. Within three minutes of it hitting the water, 
just really hot action. Wonderful. It's just slightly over an hour. Just fabulous action. At any rate, hope you uh, enjoyed watching the video and uh, good luck out there. If you like this video, check out some of our other videos, including how to cure chicken livers and how to tie egg loop knots. Well, at any rate, thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe to the Catfish and Carp YouTube channel.